Welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Marvel Infinity Gauntlet, a love letter game. So down at the table, love letter has been around for quite some time. It started out with a princess that was sad in her room and you're trying to deliver love letters to her. It's a simple game, but then to develop, we've got the Hobbit version, Batman, there's a Lovecraft love letter, and several others. So now Marvel is taking its try at the love letter world. So the universe is in your hands. Battle for the fate of the universe in this quick card game of risk and deduction. Play as Thanos seeking the infinity stones or as the heroes fighting to stop him. Can you turn the tide of battle in your favor? So we just have 36 cards, nine power cards, two plastic sliders, a cloth bag, and a rule book. And you can see they're doing what Fantasy Flight used to do. Uh, Game Genic has created their own brain of sleeves. So if you're in the sleeve in your cards, this tells you it takes the gray version, which I'm assuming is the standard card size. So let's go ahead and take a look inside here. So inside the box, we have this nice purple bag. And inside of that, we've got our small rules booklet cards and tokens. We're looking at the uh, rule book. See, we've got an overview here. Remember the contents of the game, not much. Quick setup, how to play the game. In-game conditions, how to play a two-player game. You got to set up a little bit differently. And the different cards it looks like. And a quick reference. Then our plastic tokens. So all these are just gonna be plus twos on them. And two sliders. And then for separating out the cards. We'll go with the easy stuff first. We've got a life tracker. So for the heroes and villain side, and then the quick setup rules. We've got six reference cards for each player. So when you're trying to guessing what someone else might have. Then our hero cards. We've got Star-Lord. So guess a number, defeat one card of that number in Thanos' hand. And down at the bottom, very similar to the other games, it's got three pit marks letting you know there's going to be three cards doing the same thing. They just have different artwork on them. So Star-Lord, Spider-Man, and Nebula are all guessing a number. Then we have Black Widow, Gamora, and Ant-Man and Wasp. So they are all choose a teammate to look at one card in Thanos' hand. Then we have the Hulk, Captain America, and Thor. All of those are You May Fight Thanos. Then Black Panther, Falcon, and Doctor Strange. And their ability is give yourself or a teammate one power token. Then we have Scarlet Witch and Vision. Look at the top three cards of the hero deck, then put them back in any order. And Captain Marvel and Iron Man. You or teammate may fight Thanos. And taking a look at our Thanos cards. So we've got two Outriders. Choose an opponent and guess a number. If they are holding that number, defeat their card. And it looks like these are gonna be showing that you've got two of those type of card and one Infinity Stone to go with it. So this is gonna be guess a number. If any opponents are holding that number, defeat their cards. And if defeated, shuffle into your deck after redrawing. Then we've got Corvus Glaive. Uh, choose an opponent. If they're holding a three or lower, defeat their card. And then the Soul Stone. Choose an opponent. If they are holding a three or higher, defeat their card. If defeated, shuffle into your deck. Black Dwarf. You may fight an opponent. Space Stone. You may fight up to two different opponents. And if defeated, shuffle into your deck. Proxima Midnight. Take one power token. Power Stone. Take three power tokens, and if defeated, shuffle into your deck. Ebony Maul, draw one card, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. Reality Stone, draw two cards, then place two cards from your hand 
on the bottom of your deck. If defeated, shuffle into your deck. Time Stone, copy the effect of another card in front of you. And if defeated, shuffle into your deck. And finally, Thanos, cannot be played. If defeated, shuffle into your deck. So playing this game is fairly simple. Uh, players play cards representing heroes, villains, and the Infinity Stones to battle for the fate of the universe. There are two teams. Thanos is a team of one, and all other players are on the other team. The game ends when either team has no life left or when Thanos collects all six Infinity Stones and snaps. So I'll be setting up for a three-player game with Captain America and Iron Man as the heroes, and I'll be setting up myself as Thanos. So we can use the back of the reference card. So choose one player to be Thanos. The others are hero players, so we're two heroes, and we are going to be Thanos. Give each player a reference card or return any remaining reference cards to the bag. So we'll give Cap a reference card along with Iron Man and we will get one for ourselves. And this is just telling us what the card options are. So for Thanos, the cards he has and the cards the heroes have and the number of each that are in the stacks. Then we will shuffle the 16 hero cards to create the hero deck. Place it face down within easy reach of the hero players. Each player draws one card from the deck as a starting hand. So we've got our 16 cards here, give it a quick shuffle, and each one gets one card. Then we will shuffle the 13 Thanos cards to create the Thanos deck. Place a face down near the Thanos. They draw two cards from the deck as a starting hand. So we'll give these a quick shuffle and put two in our hand. So we've got, ooh, a Mind Stone and an Outrider. Place the power tokens in a pile within reach of all players. And then on the back of this card, place one slider on the top space of the hero track and one slider on the space of the Thanos track matching the player count, including Thanos. So heroes go on the top. We're playing as a three-player game, two heroes and Thanos, so that's his health there. And as soon as one of these gets to the bottom, that side will lose, or Thanos gets six Infinity Stones and snaps. The so gameplay is easy, and it's always going to start with the Thanos player. He's going to draw one card and then play one card. So we've got two that choose an opponent and guess a number. If they are holding that number, defeat their card. Mind Stone does pretty much the same thing. And we have a Time Stone, copy the effect of another card in front of you. So we're going to go ahead and play the Mind Stone. Guess a number. If any opponents are holding that number, defeat their cards. So we'll put this in front of us. We know the numbers are from one to six. And higher chances for one to four. So we'll just say three. And if any of these cards are three, they are going to have to show it to us and discard it. So Iron Man was holding Captain America's card. So he's got to discard a card. And since that card was defeated, lose a life. And then he'll immediately draw another card. Then we'll proceed clockwise around the table. So Cap will draw a card, decide one to play. So he may fight Thanos. And fighting means he plays this card and then we can pair the card in our hand so when the hero initiates a fight, so I'd play this card and this would be the fight, which I'm definitely not doing. Then Thanos would hold his cards up to the other player and they would pick one of these to resolve. And if Thanos starts a fight, he gets to choose which card he wants to use. Whichever has the highest defeats the other card. So they'll discard the card, lose health. And if it's a tie, nothing will happen. So since he's... Holding a one in his hand, probably not a good eye to play the fight one. So guess a number, defeat a card of that number in Thanos' hand. So maybe Cap would just pick two. Thanos would go, nope, not holding a two. So he's got his discarded card. So as cards get played out, we can kind of have an idea of what cards are left as options. Iron Man will draw a card. So look at the top three cards of the hero deck. You or teammate may fight Thanos. 
So I think we'll just have him choose to make a fight. So he's got to play this card to initiate the fight. He's going to secretly reveal this card. Well, first he's got to choose one of the cards of Thanos to fight. These two reveal their cards to each other. The loser is going to put their card down in their play area. This card is still unrevealed and Thanos will take a damage. So this process keeps going on until one of the win conditions are met, which is the heroes at zero life, Thanos at zero life, or Thanos gets six stones out and snaps his fingers. So the power tokens, different conditions will give you a power token and then it will give you plus two for a fight and you are required to use it whether you want to or not. If you have multiples, you can just use one at a time. And that is just a quick look at the basics of Marvel Infinity Gauntlet, a love letter game. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.